We have, uh, we've struggled a little bit the last couple of years with our team performance and one of the big priorities was for us is to kind of do some things that maybe we need to change the culture, um, maybe change some of the athletes that we had coming in the program and we're really excited about the newcomers that we have. Uh, we have some really uh, freshmen that really accomplished a lot in high school um, and they are really great people. Uh, we also have some newcomer transfers, you know, JUCO transfer on the men's side and a, a graduate transfer on the women's side. And I think the influx of them really fit what we want the team to be. And, and we're really, definitely really excited about uh, what kind of impact they can have. And we're really uh, energized by the upperclassmen and how their, you know, the commitment and dedication to really turning this thing around and having a much better result than we've had the last couple of years as well. Preseason has been really good. We've had a lot of guys putting in a lot of good effort, a lot of guys competing against each other, and just everybody getting back together after a hard summer and working together to get better. Preseason, it's been, it's obviously a really fun time. Um, summer's great because everyone kind of gets a little break from school. They can kind of grind with their training. So training was pretty good this summer. Um, just great being back, being with everyone. Hamer and Meg have a lot of fun things planned for us. And it's just really nice getting back to run with people because that's really tough in the summer when you're kind of doing a lot of the long runs by yourself. Um, but it's been good. My Achilles were bothering me slightly, um, but th that's something that's behind me now. So I'm excited to get that first race in this weekend. Um, but it's been, it's, been, it's been a good preseason. It's, it's weird that this is the last preseason, but it's definitely been a really fun one. I think the girls have been doing really good. There's been basically no injuries, so we're all really healthy, and everyone's been working hard this summer, and it's really been showing. Personally, uh, I'm looking to place top 10, hopefully, in the MAC, the All-MAC and medal. And then as a team, I think we can do really well this year because we have a lot of strong freshmen, and everyone did really well this summer. So hopefully we get top five in the MAC as a team. In terms of a team aspect, uh, we had a really good outcome for the first meet, uh, so we're pretty excited for Sienna this upcoming Saturday. Um, our, we used to have a low stick, but this year we might not have that low of a stick. Um, so our clump from like one to like five through seven are all like under a minute, which is really good. So I feel like we're gonna have a good 2018 cross country season. <laughs> I always, uh, one of the great things is you, I think if you start strong, you finish strong. Um, that doesn't mean we have to have a great outcome, but I want to make sure that we follow the process of, of competing and executing our race plan. Uh, the big challenge though is, you know, hey, we are in a heavy training cycle. We're not as fit as we want to be uh, or we will be at the end of the year. So we're just really looking forward to the execution part of it and following the process and hopefully, uh, you know, getting some experience on the course. And, and the other thing is there's going to be seven MAC teams there. So it's a chance for us to measure ourselves early against the other MAC components. Yeah.